the original contract said net 60. Well, then they came back and said, well, I just learned from you know the finance department that we just moved to net 90. Net 90 could shutter a small business. One of the things that is distinct about us is that our company is called the Lemon Ad Stand, right? And so a lot of times people will say the Lemon Aid Stand. You never go to a Lemon Aid Stand and have a bad experience. It's always lighthearted. It's always a good time. We try to embody that, that same feeling that you get when you go to a Lemonade Stand. We're not selling one service. We are selling a partnership to be your creative marketing arm. You know, we help our clients through that whole process and whatever that entails as far as creating your brand, building out your promotional items and your collateral, and then, okay, what is the message that you're gonna send out to your clients? How are you gonna reach them? Studies show that representation matters, and that's something that we really embody. We have so many people on our team from different backgrounds that we're able to really address uh, cultural matters in a very authentic way. And I want everyone that's on our team to be themselves. For the longest time, I was self-conscious about even having my picture on the website because I was like, well, I don't know if having a black man owning a business is going to be bad for business, right? And so it took me a while to actually own that, appreciate that, and um, celebrate that. So we go into schools and Calvin tells his story. He really grew up understanding the arts, but he also grew up with the idea that he didn't aspire to be a starving artist. And we love to tell that story to young people. We want to educate others, other minorities uh, in particular, who never even thought about thinking that way, right? And so allowing them to think in a more entrepreneurial way and doing something that they are passionate about. So as a small business owner, accessing capital is very complicated. You think that your business has credit, but it doesn't. You personally have to back all of that. It's one thing when you get a very awesome new client and a new contract, you know, you, you're thinking, well, it'll probably be a 30 day because that's normal. But when you hear 60, you're like, all right, that's tough, but we can do it. And then when you hear 90, it's like, are you kidding me? I think that is where C2FO has been major for us. This program existed where we would allocate a percentage of the PO to receive it within 30 days. Being able to say we're going to give X percentage of this so that we can continue for the long game, it was a game changer for us. It's a really great platform to use. It's very, very user friendly. So we can easily go in there and see exactly how much was paid out. What C2FO is allowing us to do is really operate and function as we should be functioning and everyone being able to get paid for the work that they do when they do it. This allowed us to create jobs and opportunities during one of the worst economic times that we've lived, right. you know. The services that C2FO offer and it being there is like, yes, you know, this is exactly what we need. You know, we're in a new world, it's uh, you know, uncharted waters, and this kind of gives us that blanket of protection that we can sustain or survive. It's absolutely because of C2FO that we have had the capital to do that. And we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Mm -hmm. So thank you.